Hi there! In this video we'll be talking about framing cantilever. Okay, before we move on to our job site, I want to show you a couple of things I tried to draw on my erase board. So that's kind of very close catch uh, of the floor system we got in our case. And first of all, I want to show you from this corner to that corner, and you see I use a red marker in this area, that's where my uh, foundation runs. So from this corner to this corner, and we got no foundation, no support over here. But for print, I have to frame a couple walls, and um, there will be a, a fireplace eventually installed in this area. So because we have no concrete, no foundation, we have to frame uh, our cantilever. So we have something to hold our walls and as you can see we have these joists they're called cantilever joists we got them running perpendicular to our main floor joist and as you can see we have a double floor joist in this area uh, my print actually tells me the measurement, the length from this corner to this spot. And the reason we have it doubled because this double joist is going to hold all the cantilever joist. And as you can see we have on both sides of our cantilever we have double joist as well. And again, the reason we have it double because these joists are going to hold the short ones on both sides, here and over there. Now, uh, my print also tells me the measurement from this corner to this corner, from this corner over here, and also tells me the length of this side, of this wall. And that's actually, that's it about the theory. And we can go back to our job site. The way I know that my cantilever is gonna start here because my princess that I have from that corner to here six foot six inches. So that's why we cut the joist over here. We have a princess that uh, we have a wall running this direction, two foot from the sill plate and from here to there we have five foot so as you see here we got some stuff done already uh, we nailed this double joist we installed two double joist hangers here and uh, here we also have some pre-cut joist so we got the double joist the joist is gonna run from here all the way there and it's gonna pass two feet this direction. This one the same. That's the other side over there. And here as you can see I got the uh, joist hangers installed. So what I've done, I just measured from this side of the double to my joist mark so I got nine inches here and I seem to transfer my mark onto my uh, double joist and then I just follow the uh, level layout my blueprint sends in our case we have 12 inches on center in this area so we got that ready we also have these joists ready to go we have a like here one two three four five six joists for that side and six joists for that side and we cut them I just simply measured whatever I have here okay as you can see we got our two another doubles set in the joist hangers next thing what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a couple nails here and we also can nail it through the hanger to hold the joist tight for this one Now what I'm gonna do, because I want 
gonna make sure that this double is gonna be straight. So I'm gonna pull the string. I'm gonna have another framer. bad so we can go ahead and nail over there okay we just put couple more three actually hangers because we have our cantilever joist running this way and we just simply another, on the outside of this double joist uh, six inches extra head and again, 16 inches, 16 inches. We got the same layout right here. You see X. And right now, what we got left, we're gonna fill out all these hangers with the, our pre-cut two by tens, and we'll be done. Okay, we're almost done, as you can see. And the last thing what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna um, nail the cantilever rim joist and first of all I didn't mention that I always try to make my cantilever joist a little bit longer so I know that it's gonna be two foot cantilever so I measured from this corner right here 22 and a half because it will be another inch and a half put the mark over here get the same on this side so I'm gonna snap the line right here and cut off a little bit from this joist and then we're gonna nail our room joist okay as you can see our cantilever is done and I should mention that in the beginning but anyway I want to tell something about the this double over here so my blueprint tells me the measurement from this corner to the double over here okay sometimes the blueprint doesn't say anything about that so um, there is kind of like a rule I follow so for every one foot sticking out I got at least three feet in so if we have two foot here that means that we're gonna bring back inside at least for six feet well that's it we are ready for the plywood